Today is the fourth day of the World Cup in Brazil, but it was the first game in Rio. Many of those chanting in the streets are not supporting a team. Elaine Quijano is there. There were protests across Brazil today. In Brasilia, anti-World Cup demonstrators gathered at a bus stop and marched to the stadium. And in Rio, demonstrators gathered in a park before blocking a street leading to Maracanã, the stadium where the final will be played. <laughs> Rodrigo Modenesa. He came here today to document what was happening in the hopes that the world would take notice. We don't understand why the government used so much money in these stadiums and did not employ this money on education and health and other problems, you know. Long security lines prevented thousands of angry soccer fans from entering the stadium in Brasilia. Some fans missed the entire first half of the match between Ecuador and Switzerland. Tomorrow's headache could be water. In Natal, the city where the U.S. will play its debut game, officials have declared a flood alert. Today, Team USA prepared for their match against Ghana. U.S. coach Jurgen Klinsmann was a little more optimistic than he was just a few days ago. High scoring games, I mean, this is what fans are, are, are waiting for. They want to see goals, you know, so hopefully we can deliver them some goals tomorrow as well, you know, and they have at least one goal more than Ghana. Ghana was the team that knocked the U.S. out of the last two World Cups. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, Rio de Janeiro.